another reaction video. Not a reaction video. I'm here to talk about a little bit of Demon Slayer. But well, you find my channel first time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this on social media, man. Follow my Instagram, Android 2 point kid underscore. Follow me on TikTok, Android Kid. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're right to next, man. Shout out to all the shout out ninja out there. I also have a cash app. Donate the channel. Help the channel. Link in the description below. And also, I'm doing the cash giveaways to help me get to 1K. Once again, if we can hit 1K within one month, which is the end of March, $200. If we can hit one one k throughout uh, throughout the rest of the months, it's gonna be a hundred dollars. But let's grind to the one k. But but anyway, huh, low key bar right there. This was supposed to be a reaction video. It was supposed to be a reaction video. It got turned into basically what this is. Basically, gonna be me recapping my favorite moments of the show because YouTube said, "Nah, boy, we don't fuck with you like that." And psh, Pretty much deleted it, and I made and I made that video Friday. So I was contemplating about doing trying to do it again. So I figured, you know, just do a re, just do a recap. I know this is a reaction based channel. You no know, recap is not really not really my thing, but you know, I want to talk Demon Slayer. So let me talk about some of my favorite moments of Demon and Demon Slayer. And I'll be honest with you, the cinematography, man, the the fight scenes, I absolutely love it. Man, the Rengoku versus Akasa fight, lo loved it, and I'm gonna get to the end, the end fight later. But long story short, for those who don't know, spoiler alert, you know, go watch it if you ain't seen it yet. But Rengoku, the flaming Hashira, dies to Akasa. Recipe to you, Rengoku. You know, you look like Flareon if it was a human and it did cocaine. But rest, but rest in peace, you nonetheless. So you know, I, I have to say uh, my other favorite part is when they all stepped up to the oh my god I, I can't believe i forgot the name uh the, the little girl who worked as the nurse you know at the at the insect compound i can't remember her name ah oh, crap this is gonna this is gonna bug me oh oi uh it's, it's something like that I, I, i'm sorry i'm black uh, i blanked out i don't remember her name but that was one of my favorite parts when all three of them tanjiro inosuke and Zenitsu all stepped up, you know, to help her, to, to help her from getting taken from, uh, taken by the sound, by the sound pillar who needed her, who needed her help on a mission. They, all three of them step up, say, hey, we'll leave her alone. We'll go, we'll go with you on a mission. And they pretty much had to, had to dress up as, I guess, prostitutes in a sense, you know, to try to, uh, to, to infiltrate and find one of the upper moons where the upper moons were with Daki the fem the the one of like I said one of the upper moons and I had to say usually I don't like Zenetsu but I gotta be real with you Zenetsu was raw this season my dude stepped up to save a little a little girl and not in a sip kind of way in a hero kind of way I gotta respect that and also one of my fav my favorite parts is come from my favorite char favorite character Inosuke. Why do I don't like Inosuke? Cause Inosuke got hella hoes, but he ain't worried about that. He just won't smoke with anything that fucking breathes. That's why Inosuke is one of my favorite characters. This man trained some rats to hold his swords, and the rats was fucking buff. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I love that. Little little bit of comedy, and also one of my also one of my favorite part favorite parts. Is um when Tanjiro was fighting Daki, and he basically unlocked the sun the sun breathing when he figured out the water breathing wasn't necessarily working for him. So he so he started using the sun he started using the sun breathing, and he realized you no know, Nezuko popped in his head and Nezuko was like hey was it oh oh hold on a second it probably wasn't Nezuko it was probably was the other little sister that popped in his head saying hey you gotta breathe. He was he wasn't breathing. Then he finally breathed, and he just <coughs> almost just sat there and just died. I'm like, oh man, it, it mind you of uh, man. Have you ever like ran like so like so much like you taking like short breaths, but you're not really like breathing the per per se. You run for a long time, then you stop, then you take the deep breath, and all of a sudden you just, you like you felt like you're about to drop dead. Yeah, it was it was like that. So that's when, you know, that's when, you know, uh, uh, Nezuko, I could be wrong right here. This is where Nezuko uh, pretty much came out the box with full 
blood savage demon mode oh my goodness and just beat the dog out of docky man then this way some kind of controversy came in you know nezuko um she um developed into a young lady so to say so to speak a lot of people got got upset about that me personally i'll be honest with you i like Nez i like little nezuko inside that's inside the the box with the bamboo in her mouth that can't really talk because she's like a i like that nezuko because she's like a baby but babies eventually grow up i mean no no offense but if you're not if you're gonna get mad about that but you're not gonna get mad about three boys posted across jersey let, let's move on but anyway you know after that tanjiro calmed her down with a lullaby that her mother used to sing used to sing to her and Nezuko cried and came back to her senses before she ate somebody. That's also one of my, my favorite parts. Another one of my favorite parts is, you know, when Tegi just came through and just cut Daki shit off like it was no like it was like no problem. Like you ain't that strong. Like I can't believe you were you was a upper moon. And of course she started crying. And this is where the real problem came in. The actual upper moon the other half her brother get to those who pretty uh who pretty much came through man i ain't gonna lie to you man he straight up freaking body tanking bro though he really just bodied every freaking body bro <laughs> another bar he man he was no joke he got the point he got poised at the end of his blade he almost killed he almost killed pretty much everybody until i think what was it until tanjiro tapped in to his Main, to his main character plot plot armor let's, let's call it what it is that's, that's what it is he tapped into his main character plot armor and was a was able to not really beat not really beat him but you know kind of turn the tides you know use the sword and actually revert you know reverse the poison and stab him and um almost kill almost kill go to him I'm, I'm sorry like i said i'm freestyling this he almost killed go, go to though but you know he couldn't quite do it because he's the upper moon next cost kind of, next cost kind of strong whatnot what whatnot so he needs some help from taking and i also oh, almost forgot this bro like i said this is the other part where i like In inosuke i mean not, not inosuke but this is the other part where i like Jeanette, uh, zanetsu zanetsu bro he got he used god speed like that was incredible he used god speed and pretty much cut the first part of Daki neck he couldn't cut it off completely because you know Daki for those who don't know she has like some fabric kind of neck so Inosuke had to come with the second half and just pretty much hey pretty much cut away cut away and while they were doing that uh Tegan and Tanjiro was cutting get to those necks from from other from the uh from the other sides and they both both teams managed to get the job done but Zenetsu came came down from his sleep hi hi hibernation and his legs didn't work all that good. And like I said, Eric, like I said, Gitto came through the body everybody. You know, one way he did that, I should have said this first, but he did with the poison, so everybody was suffering for the poison. But uh Nezuko used her blood demon art, you know, to try to to pretty much heal the poison um from Tegan from Inosuke. My fate this is the fa my favorite funniest part throughout the season. My man Inosuke is dying, and when and after he is saved from the flames, my dude woke up and said, "What's happening, nigga? Hey, right, nigga, what the chicken wings and the donuts? What say? the fuck you got to eat in this bitch, nigga?" Okay, 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 okay. He didn't say that, but it, it, it was in a realm. It was in a realm of being hungry. And and I also forgot to mention this, but Tegan got injured very badly. He lost his hand. He lost he lost one of his eyes. And pretty much he had to go to retirement. And for and for the last part, oh, it's I'm gonna Obanai shows up and pretty much like like what well, I'm supposed to be impressed. Pressed by that, man. You lost your hand, man. You lost, you lost your eye, man. You better, you almost died, bro. You basically used to this. Uh, I, I promise, Obanai is such a fuck, nigga. I don't mean in the female sense. 
I mean in the male sense, disrespectful as possible, but he's a fuck, nigga. And I do not like Obanai. I don't want to spoil it because I read the manga because I can help myself. But Obanai is a fuck, nigga. And not only that, bro. Everybody out here clean. They they got they fre they got they fresh as you know they I don't know what to call it. They they fresh they fresh as roll 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 things on. You know everybody else out here fresh, but you look like a damn footlocker. But boy, you baby, you don't go sit your head. Man, you know what? I, I'm off this nigga. I'm off him. But anyway, though, it was a pretty fun great series. Uh, leave it in the comment section below. Which one you like better? Did you like um season one better or did you like season two better? Be honest with you, or did you like the movie better? Me personally, if I had to rank it, I had to rank. Um, I rank season two, the slight edge over season one, and uh, right now I got the New Mugen Train at number three. Not saying the New Mugen Train was bad, but it's how I feel about it, in my opinion. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this on social media. Maybe ever season the grind, season the underground take.